management. Let's bring in Jeff Sonnenfeld, CNBC contributor and senior associate dean for leadership studies at Yale School of Management. Very good afternoon to you. Good to see you, Jeff. Uh, good afternoon, Wilf. How are you? Uh, very well indeed. So, so what's your take on, on this and how rare is it in, in the sort of modern age to see such a sort of ruthless uh, a execution there without necessarily knowing what comes next? <laughs> yeah, great twist of phrase. You're right, it is an execution. And how silly of me to say, hello, Wilf, how are you? Uh, uh, you know, we're both doing a lot better than uh, all the turmoil in Techland. There's a lot of trouble in Techland. And this is an odd execution. Why did they need to, uh, to fire these guys, you know, sort of kill them at sunset like this, uh, unless there was uh, some gross incompetence or some uh, uh, gross misconduct, and nobody's alleging that here, but to drive the CEO and the CFO out at once is pretty strange, with no succession lined up, and to use as the explanation, well, we didn't like their strategy uh, for one quarter. The board hadn't signed off on this? And meanwhile, the guy who was running most of the business had just been pushed out two months ago. It's hard to see what they're doing here. And as you know, Barry Diller parachutes in here, and you know, who am I to criticize a multi-billionaire? He's done very well. But if he knew what to do with this business, why did he sell it out of, out of IAC? He held it for three years, and then they cast it out this way. I, I think they're lost. I, I really don't think they know what to do with this business. And, and so, a, you know, Jeff. a 78-year-old is, is not incapable of figuring out new things. I'm a, you know, I think Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, uh, uh, President Trump, I, you know, I think that uh, Bernie Sanders, that they've got a lot to offer despite being late centenarians, but, uh, septenarians, but I really can't see what Barry Diller is going to be bringing to this business right now. Who would bring something to the business? Who do you think could come in and replace the team that's just been ousted today? Yeah, I think they should try to figure out how to consolidate these businesses. You know, uh, uh, as well as I know you guys, I would, I would ask you both, if uh, I bet your lives on this, that you couldn't tell me right now when you would use Travelocity, when you would use Hotel.com, when you would use, uh, you know, Cars.com or, or Orbitz or, or, or Trivago, one versus another. You couldn't. It's an alphabet soup. Nobody. They're all stapled together. At least the, C, the CEO and CFO that were fired were trying to unify a tech platform, and maybe these brands need to be consolidated. And for that matter, I think almost anybody watching this show would, would swear the TripAdvisor is one of that pack. But in fact, they're a competitor. Who knows? There's way too much capacity in this space. They need to consolidate and sell this business to somebody. And Microsoft was smart to sell it years ago. And I guess smartest of all was, uh, of course, uh, was, was, uh, was Karashagi to get out of here and run over to Uber, where he's, he's tanked the stock by 45%. So, so Jeff